I may be on vacation, but I thought it was important that you heard from me today. You see, we're edging towards a monarchy. Our president is going to make law tonight. He's going to change the law that he's already sworn to uphold and defend, but he's going to change it. That's what kings do. That's what emperors do. That's not what presidents of the United States are supposed to do. And yes, we're going to hear, well, other presidents have done it, but no, that isn't what they've done at all. They've changed rules here and there. I don't like executive orders anyway. And they get worse with each passing presidency. This president has actually done less executive orders than George W. Bush. But the ones he's done have been far more significant in terms of changing the law. Tonight, our president is going to allow some 5 million illegal immigrants to stay legally in this country. He's going to talk about split families. There's no such thing as a split family. Yes, the 14th Amendment does indeed allow babies born in the United States to be American citizens. But who's splitting the families? It's the parents. Any decent parent, if you happen to go on vacation somewhere and accidentally give birth and your kid becomes a citizen of that country, are you going to leave it there? Or are you going to do the right thing and take your baby home with you? So yeah, there are split families. They're split families by choice. If you have a baby in the United States and it's an American citizen, well, when that kid becomes 18 and wants to move here and, and take all the advantages of citizenship, God bless him because he is an American citizen. There's no question. But split families have got nothing to do with what's going on. If you, Mr. President, don't like the fact that Congress, our representatives in Congress, our voices, if you don't like that, what they're not doing, then go out there and, in your words, win an election. You didn't do it, now you need to back down because what you're planning to do puts us on a path to a monarchy and not the representative republic that we are. Yeah, I'll be back next week and we'll talk more about this, but I thought it was really important that you heard from me today as the president is going to make law tonight. Thank you.